sisters, how y'all feeling? Brother Jala Ride is Keisha, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, today we are going to be getting into the five things that I admire about South Africa. Let's get into it. First things first. The one thing that I admire about South Africa is that they utilize their voice. When I first moved here, um, it seemed like every week there was like a protest for something. And I was like, wow, <laughs> I would hear the, um, the singing or, you know, the chanting coming down. It would be echoing, uh, echoing into my windows. And I'm like, what's going on down there? You know, but what I love about how um, South Africans utilize their voice, they are so organized. Usually there is a police um, escort making sure that there is nothing going on, like, you know, they don't get any backlash or, you know, it's very, very organized and they are using like their voices to, um, you know, to vocalize the things that they are unhappy concerning their government, concerning, you know, community issues. And that is very, very admirable. So essays, civic engagement is lit. Okay, if they are unhappy about something that is going on in the government, they utilize their voice. And I think that it is such a, a powerful tool that sometimes is not utilized enough um, in other areas of the world that I've been to until like it's swelling too much, you know what I mean? Like until something really, really big happens to where, okay, now we can use our voice. But I think they are very, very consistent about things that um, they believe in and things that they, that, they, that, that they want to ignite change in. And they, they show that, they show that. And that's very admirable. Okay, the second thing that I admire about South Africa is the natural beauty and the infrastructure. It's kind of like a two for one. <laughs> okay so the natural beauty you know speak for speaks for itself South Africa is a stunning country it's so beautiful and in Cape Town especially I live in Cape Town I'm in Cape Town 90% of the time so I can only speak of Cape Town um, the air is so fresh the air is so clear with very very little pollution and i can appreciate that as far as the infrastructure um south africa has really good infrastructure the roads the railways um even when it comes to like technology they are you know they are some to a lot of places above bar <laughs> definitely above bar um i have been house hunting and what i've noticed is that a lot of the security use uh, biometrics like your fingerprint your um your eyes or facial recognition that is something that is really kind of normal in some of the um, places here in south africa and i really admire you know their modernization infrastructure and you know technology so for the number three i'm going to go with the healthcare system the healthcare system in my experience is very efficient and very affordable. Um, I have utilized the healthcare system since living here. Um, I do have to, I do get reimbursed for utilizing the services here if I can't make it back to the, to the U.S. to get um, the government VA uh, medical care. But it's nothing lacking here. And one thing that I can say, coming from the US, knowing like how some of the prices of 
medication and just studies like labs radi radiology um, all of that stuff is so much more affordable here and I'm not just talking about from from the US um, dollar standpoint I just think it is really affordable all around so that is another thing that's very admirable my number three thing that I admire about South Africa their health care is efficient and affordable a my number four thing that I could say about um, what I admire about South Africa is they their love for their country and their culture and heritage I think if you see them on any type of heritage day um, I love to see them in their traditional garb y'all know I love I love Ankara fabric <laughs> I love the African fashion um, all together but I really really love how they um, embrace their culture all of their different languages and regardless of like what you may feel is wrong with the, their government or your personal opinion on the political stance of um, South Africa how they always talk about the ANC <laughs> they blame everything on the ANC but they love South Africans love their country okay they love their country as a whole um, and I think that is very admirable it feels good to be to live in a place um, where there's a lot of pride in your country and your heritage so um, I love that about South Africa uh, why I appreciate that so much about South Africa the pride and um, in their heritage and their country I appreciate that so much because like I served almost 20 years in the US military and the Air Force and you know you know the US has its own issues um, and but sometimes because of all of the you know all of the issues that we have in the United States there's a lot of divisiveness and you know the pride that people may have had in the past is it's not there there anymore you don't feel it as much so it's nice to be in a place where people are proud of their country they're proud of their heritage they're proud of like where they come from and it's it's, it's very very refreshing and to the fifth thing that I admire about South Africa I admire their spirit of Ubuntu okay and their genuine interest in people like when I first got here South African people um, were so welcoming and you know like I was a little standoffish at first because like sometimes you know people are asking you questions they're very inquisitive and you're like wait a minute you know I you know I'm prior military <laughs> so OPSEC security a lot of that thing a lot of that stuff is like really ingrained in me so sometimes I'm not as open um, when I first meet somebody I'm friendly but sometimes I'm not as open to share like personal personal details about myself and South Africans like they don't have any kind of qualms <laughs> about asking you personal things about you because they are what I learned after living here for five years that they are they have a genuine interest in you you know they really they're curious they want to know you know well how is this in the US or they might ask you you know like really really personal questions but I have grown to admire and love that about um, living here in South Africa and about the welcoming nature of the South African people so first let, let's get into what Ubuntu means and um, for the people who don't know Ubuntu is this let me tell you we we have something in, in our African uh, community, something that is very difficult to put into English. 
It is, it is called Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the essence of being human. And it says a solitary human being is a contradiction in terms. I can't be a human being on my lonesome. I wouldn't know how to speak as a human being. I wouldn't know how to think as a human being. I wouldn't know how to walk as a human being. I have to learn from other human beings how to be human. And so Ubuntu, Ubuntu says, my humanity is bound up in yours. I am only because you are. Thank you so much for watching this video in its entirety. My five things that I admire about South Africa. If you are South African or you have visited South Africa or you are foreign national or you are, you know, what are some things that you admire about South Africa and what you love about South African culture, you know? Leave a, a comment below. Anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Miracles and blessings. Until next time.